What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we're gonna to be doing the first shots of the Beretta 80X Cheetah. Now this is a brand new 380 pistol for 2023, made quite a splash. And the reason for that is it's kind of a re-release or an updated version of the previous Beretta Cheetah, which was an old classic and one of the standby 380s that people have carried for a number of years. This gun is very similar to the 92 or the M9, so if you're familiar with the M9 or familiar with the Cheetah, you're gonna feel right at home with the controls on this guy. Uh, came out at 800 bucks uh, for the uh, black version. There's actually a limited edition FD version, which looks cooler, but it's very, very expensive, so we opted for the, uh, the black version. Now, this is a double single action pistol, but unique to the Beretta line, I guess the newer ones have the frame-mounted safety. Uh, this one actually has a frame-mounted safety decocker, so as you can see here, if I decide to put the safety on, it decocks the pistol. And then you take the safety back off, and then you can fire in double action. So the way that you would carry this gun is going to be in double action. You're not going to be able to carry it cocked and locked, just the way it is. Comes with a four inch barrel, it's a 25 ounce overall weight, pretty lightweight, but if you consider the fact that there are modern nine millimeters that are lighter than this and smaller than this, we'll get into that later, the weight is not as great. But you're buying this because it is a sort of a holdover from the previous Beretta Cheetah, or you're buying this because you like the M9, or you're buying it because it looks really sexy. It has a light rail on it, so that's pretty cool if you want to put a, a light on it. You could use this as a carry gun, and you could use this as a home defense gun. 380 is a pretty decent caliber for self-defense, in my personal opinion probably the lowest you'd want to go but it certainly does work nine millimeter short after all two 13 round magazines so you get 14 if you count the one in the pipe that's a pretty good uh, capacity yeah Beretta's optics mounting system which is nice uh, combat hammer and then we have some g10 grips with some pretty good texture the trigger so far feels pretty good and it doesn't feel too bad to the actual pull itself so we'll have to try it out and see how we do out there now, this is an interesting little gun, and I think it's made for people that like the M9, but I think it's also probably made for some people with arthritic hands, stuff like that. People that want more of a full-size gun in a smaller caliber that's easier to control, easier to shoot quickly. Rounds on target, after all, are the deciding factor. So if you can shoot this better than a nine, by all means, go with this. Uh, that being said, a lot of people online have been saying it's a micro, and it's not micro. There's nothing micro about this. It's a four inch barrel with a 14 round capacity, which means it's just a hair under a Glock 19. It's probably between a Glock 19 and a Glock 26. I know you use Glocks as size models, but they're the most popular guns, so that's the size most people understand. Uh, we're gonna take it out and we're gonna shoot it today. We're gonna see how it does. But before we do that, I do wanna thank my patron supporters. Thank you guys very much. It's because you have the gun. We purchased this gun with the patron dollars, so we thank you for that. We try to make the most honest gun content on the internet for you guys, and we really appreciate you supporting us. If you wanna do that, it's just a link in the description below. Also in that description is a link to a local shelter. It names Iowa. It's the YSS. The donate page is down there. So all you have to do is go down to the description, click the link, and donate to those kids. They could really use your help. And finally, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, CF Moto. CF Moto makes some badass ATVs, side-by-sides, and motorcycles, all for off-roading in style with more affordable prices than their competitors. They have over 500 dealers in the US, making it super easy to find the perfect vehicle for your needs, no matter where you're located. They are currently running some amazing deals on their 2022 models, so it's never been a better time to get into an ATV. Search for a dealer near you in the link in the description below. All right, so let's try this 75. Now, we did shoot a bunch of footage that we had in the, the beginning there, and our audio was messed up because of a bunch of frogs fucking yesterday. It was so loud that you literally couldn't hear my voice at all for the first seven minutes of the video. So we're gonna patch in a few things here. We're gonna try to shoot it. This is actually the second day. We're gonna try to shoot it and see how it does. Got it. We're at about 60 yards here. Ooh. Got it. Oh, 
Talk about playing through the pain. <laughs> All right, cutie pie. All right, so we're gonna fire here at about 45, 50 yards, 50 yards. And I'm gonna try to, to really keep my hand down. Like, you wanna choke up on handgun and control the recoil, but not on this one. <laughs> so I got the revolver grip. I'm trying to keep my hand down. I can't help myself, though, from using good technique. Got it. Now you can see I'm not shooting as good and the gun's jumping around in my hand more than it should because if you choke up and try to control the gun, it bites you. Maybe we will. I was pretty confident there, but now I'm not so sure. Now these are the magazines, you get 13 plus 1, there's a Magtech ammo we're using here. They're pretty slick, they look like they're made by Metgar, they go in and out real nice. Uh, the sights on the gun are very nice as well. We have a slightly larger front dot with a uh, uh, two white dots in the rear. I like when the front's a little larger, it draws your eye to it. Well, it's an accurate little sum bitch. I'll say that, and it should be too, in all fairness, because you're looking at a, a you know double single action pistol. So, uh, second shot being single action makes the trigger a little bit lighter, crisper. Second thing is, is you know, it's even until it's a little small for me, it's bigger than your standard micro nine, which is nice. So you're able to shoot it pretty well, even though it's a 380. We're at 50 yards right now, and I'm not having too much trouble, especially considering that I've just started shooting this gun. Now that I talk shit. Missing, there we go. Focus on what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Well, sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. I don't really know what I'm doing. My group at 50 is about that big. And then it's off toward the left, so I think I'm shanking him off the left side with bad trigger control. Hmm. Okay, so let's see how fast she goes, because that's probably more important. Now, one of the things that I still don't like, I do like the safety decocker, but I will admit that pressing the safety on and decocking the pistol isn't so bad, but we'll, we'll just mess with it, because it does feel a little finicky. We'll shoot it uh, from double action, which we can't do. Drop it back down. Double action is not so bad. Decock it again, bring the safety back down. Not bad. That's kind of how your first shot's gonna be if you carry this gun. Imagine if you carry this appendix or something, that'd be really cool because double single action for the safety is a very safe way to carry appendix. As long as you remember to use the controls wisely, you don't want to pull out the gun and then try to figure out how to make the gun work. Oh. It's a little small for me. I mean, maybe the gun itself's a little, I mean, it's it's a lot bigger than like some of my Micro 9s, but the uh, the grip, for whatever reason, is not, I'm not vibing with the grip. It seems like right here, it's beating the shit out of my hand, and then right here, I have too small of a grip to put my left hand on it, and the way I'm gripping it to keep my thumb out of the way, I have like no recoil control at all with my left hand. I might as well be like Arnold Keep Schwarzenegger, you know, Sylvester Stallone, stop or my mom will shoot doing. Like I might as well be shooting this one handed. So I'm gonna have my wife shoot this in a minute because like I said, I don't think giant ogres the target market for this. That being said, it's very, very shootable even for me. I mean, you could certainly defend yourself with this. That's no joke. I always, see, I wanna shoot it like this, but every time I do, I get smoked by the slide. Mm. So, I gotta shoot it like this, which is still very accurate, but much slower. I mean, those are six inch plates at 15 yards. 
18 yards. So very accurate. Let's put a group on that uh, Wilson Combat target right there. Okay. Mag stuck, but it does auto set. Yeah, very nice shooting gun. Doesn't hip shoot quite as well. You had a failure? I had a malfunction, but uh-oh. Put it in front of the camera so they can see it. Put it in front of the camera. I don't know where you can see me. Yeah, let me fix it. Okay, okay, now we're out. Got you. I got another mag. Here I'll switch ya. Oh, slammed her home. You ready? Yep. What do you think of it? Um, I don't think it's necessarily my favorite, but yeah. I didn't hate it. I do like it. Um, it feels good to me. I like the grip. Um, it does feel a little difficult to rack because of the open top, but I find that with all Berettas. Um, I guess you could come under and do the pinch method, but I always feel like going like that. I hear you. Um, but I like it. I don't love it. Right. So I have mixed feelings. As I maybe thought I would, I really thought I would like this pistol a little more than I did. Doesn't mean that I didn't like it. I did like it. I think it shoots well. And I do feel like this is like where maybe Beretta, the M9 series, starts to show his age a little bit because it's difficult to put a 2011 or an M9 in a smaller and smaller package. And the reason for that is this, okay? So I love the 1911 and I love the M9, don't get me wrong, but you won't see me run an officer size 1911s. And the reason for that is because the smaller and smaller you get a 1911s, you have some reliability issues, but you also have uh, this. Now they have to have a certain amount of bore axis in order to make the double single actions system work. And because of that, the smaller and smaller grip that you get, the more and more higher percentage that you're gonna have a higher percentage top of the slide. And to add the fact that they did this beaver tail pretty poorly in my opinion, I think it should have been longer and I think it should have been angled up. Angling it down like this looks cute, but it hits you right in the hand. And maybe the old cheetahs did that and I just don't remember. But I gotta say, like, the way I'm thinking right now, now this might not be for the full review, but the way I'm thinking right now is I just don't know if I see a point to this. You know, the Ruger 380 is coming in around the $300 mark. You're gonna pay 500 more bucks for this? Maybe, you know. A 13 round 380 that's the same size as a Glock 19 is hard, it's hard for me to sell. I mean, you're talking about a very similar weight, very similar size. And to add to that, the fact that the grip doesn't feel that great to me, Man, I mean, if I, I mean, if this or the shield, it's hard not to choose the shield. This or the Ruger, it's hard not to go with the Ruger. I mean, you could get a P365 380, right? They do make those, and it's significantly smaller, lighter, and in my opinion, just because of the way this grip feels on my hand, more shootable. That being said, this is not designed for me. This is designed for people who love the Cheetah. They want an updated model. They want a model with an optics ready system. They want a model that has a 1911 safety. I'm not the biggest fan of the safety decocker. Uh, is it worth it to you? You'll have to decide. It shoots well if you can shoot it well. And uh, the magazines use a caliber and a capacity that is good enough for self-defense. And the double action system, in my opinion, works great for appendix carry, which is currently the most popular way people carry. Uh, that's the way I carry. I like it for a number of benefits. Uh, if it's not for you, that's cool. If this gun's not for you, that's cool. Leave in the comment section below what you think of this gun, whether you think this is kind of a release just because Beretta didn't have any better ideas and they just re-upped a new gun, or whether you think this is kind of a revolutionary thing that'll change the game, or somewhere in the middle. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.